Hey there, folks. Heading in for a dig. Thought I'd get you up just as a little intro. I don't think I'll have much time for a dig today. But, uh, well, even if I can get 45 minutes or an hour in, it would be good. Every little bit of footage is going to help me get through the winter, so. <laughs> yeah. I usually post a couple videos a week, so that takes up some footage. So anyways, I'll try to get some in reserve. And I'll let you go for now and get you back up when I get there. Over and out. Alright folks, me again. I just got a bottle. It's a Father John's Medicine. Lowell, Massachusetts one. Screw top. We're looking at probably late 20s or 30s I'd say. I don't recognize a maker's mark on the base. Anyways, I'll put it in my bag. All right. One word. So I just unearthed this appears to be a little perfume bottle. I don't think that's a design on it. I think it's all kind of cracked up. Still got the glass stopper in it, which is kind of cool. And there's some liquid in it. Quite possibly water. Anyways, I'll hang on to it and maybe I can get it home in one piece. Here's one, folks, another common one, but it's a cork tough. This is machine made with the Sloan's Liniment. Sloan's Liniment. Yep, common embossed bottle. Okay, I've been kind of skipping around digging from one hole to another, but we got a cork top sticking out here. Looks like a blown one, possibly a, a druggist bottle, maybe local, hopefully. Oh. Bear Brothers, New York. Cool. It is blown. I've never seen one of these before. Bear Brothers. I wonder if that's like bare aspirin. Neat, oh, nice bottle. Looks to be in good condition. Hey folks, just flipped out another one. Right there. A big weird shaped one. Looks to be blown. I guess would be like a perfume, maybe a powder or something. Looks like it's probably frosted too. Might have some, might be manganese glass. Actually, hard to tell with all that fine uh, soil on it. But anyways, nice little find. Let's see what else we can get out of here. Alrighty then. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Whoo, let me catch my breath. Okay. I think I got another one of those bear bottles sticking out here. I can see there's embossing on it. I can feel it. Yeah, and it says New York. Right there. Yep, there it is. Oh, this one's cracked. Bear Brothers, New York. Look, you can see the big crack on the back of it. Hmm. That's too bad. It was up like that, that's probably why water got down in it. There was water in it actually, as you've seen. Well, let's keep going. I'm losing daylight here, folks, but I think I just got a good one here. Well, it's blown, and I'm pretty sure that's one of those Maltese bottles. It's an amber. Can't really tell because there's so much dirt and uh, stuff on it. Yeah, 
Yeah, the Maltine Manufacturing Company. Chemist. The Boston isn't real good on this one, but that's the first one I've actually found myself other than a broken one. I'll take that. Nice old bottle. Okay, next find, folks. Menard's Liniment. I think this one's got like a bluey shoe to it. Kind of hard to see a bit there. So I'm going to take this one. Pretty sure it's machine made. Just the same, but it's probably an early one. And then I'm going to check out some of these other bottles I discarded the last couple times I was here and see if there's anything worth grabbing this time. Okay, let's get at it. Okay, folks, next find this thing. Well, it's an early screw top. I wouldn't keep it other than uh, it looks to me like it's manganese glass. Of course, it doesn't want to focus. But either that's manganese glass or that's had some purple or red ink in it. So I'm going to take it and check it out, clean it up, and we'll see what, what it brings. Okay, folks. <clears throat> I'm on my way out of here now. It's right on dusk, so. I was actually getting into a pretty good section there. It was about three feet deep of cans. Old tin cans. And uh, there was some old glass mixed in with it. But uh, I didn't want to stay because I felt like I might be missing stuff. Where it's dark. So I'll come back when I can see a little better here. Jesus. Look out. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully I don't take too many branches in the eyeballs or in the face at all for that matter. <laughs> That's pretty dark. Okay, see you on the recap. Good day, folks. What in tarnations have we got going on here today? Well, let's find out. We got a couple things I wanna get done here. First, I've had this sitting around, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to check it out. It's a W.P. Hartley Jam Jar. Broke. I'm going to try gluing it together here. And I'll do that right now. And then maybe uh, by the end of the recap here, it'll be all right and ready to go. I don't think i got to put glue all the way around it, maybe just in a couple spots like that, sort of. Yep, yeah, I think that's fitting together right there. Let me just wipe the excess off here real quick. Okay, set that back there. Now, on to the digging bottles. We got this Maltine Manufacturing Chemist Company bottle. See if we can get the light on that. The embossing isn't real good on this one. But you might be able to make it out there. Yeah, it's a common bottle. Well, it's common down in the States. Not so much common up in my parts, but... It's blown with a tooled lip. Yep. Next one, we got the uh, Father John's Medicine, Lowell, Massachusetts. It's a screw top. I think it's going to be early 1930s. Made in the USA. And uh, the makers of this medicine's claim to fame was that they didn't use alcohol in their product. So, which most uh, medicines did back in the day. Next we got the Bear Brothers New York bottle. And this is not Bear Aspirin, like I thought it might have been had something to do with them in the video when I dug it up. This is rather like a paint or a powder uh, that gave a metallic, like it was a metallic uh, paint and powder and it hardened once you put it on whatever you were putting it on. It gave it a metallic sheen to it. This one's uh, blown in a mold with a tool lip as well. Nice bottle. Actually got two of them. There was that one and then this one here, but this one was cracked. But I kept it anyways. Next is the Menards Liniment. Another very common bottle, especially for this area. 
from Hans County, Nova Scotia. This one's got a nice bluish greenish hue to it. On to this one. It's another common bottle, Sloan's Liniment, embossed. I'm just kind of going through these pretty quickly. These are all mostly pretty common bottles. This one's machine made, probably late 20s or 30s. Then this nice frosted, probably perfume or powder bottle. I don't see a seam on it. It ended up being all cracked up. And it would have been nice. It's quite smooth. I don't know. It's a weird glass. Next we got two uh, Chesabro Manufacturing Company bottles. They cleaned up nice. They're an odd size. They're like a medium size. So I brought those home. Next was this ink that I thought was a manganese color. I dug it up, but it doesn't appear to be now. If it is, it's very faint. Nice little one. And this perfume, which is all shattered. The, the glass stopper is completely stuck in there. Still got fluid in it, as you can see. No identifying marks on it. It's got that uh, sort of colored patina all over it as well. Might have been burned. A couple more Menards liniments. This is a uh, just a slick amber cork top. Machine made. Another slick one. This is uh, blown, in the, blown in a mold with a tooled lip. It's got a grayish hue to it. It was probably early 1900s. And then finally we got this spoon which has some sort of a wheat design on it. You can see, I'm thinking it was uh, silver plated at one time. Kind of got like a brassy look to it. I don't know. Anyways, so here's this here. Yeah, that's on there good now. Yeah, so that turned out good. Nothing to it. Okay, so that's going to be it, folks. Thanks for watching. I've got. Uh, Lots more videos coming up. I got one uh, site in particular that I did five or six digs at, and I, I haven't got any of those videos up. And then I got a few uh, other random ones from different places. So we'll get to those sooner or later. All right. Thanks for watching. Over and out, folks. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>